<clears throat> Welcome and good morning. We are back with another solo video today. Haven't played solo in a while, it feels like. I'm kind of excited for this. Somewhat excited. I'm also kind of scared because it might be very hard. Right now, you can probably tell by my voice, it is very early in the morning. 8 a.m. in the morning on a Sunday. And, uh... I got nothing better to do than record, so there's not too many people on the server right now, but I did pick one of like the highest pops for the morning, just so I know it'll get to full pop later. Titan M4, monthly server that just wiped this past Thursday, uh, which also brought the Easter event. I was looking at the map, and there's like this super long river right here. It looks like there's a base here, which probably just took heli. But this river is like, it's got to be sick looking. So I almost want to be like posted up right here or something, even though it's kind of out of the way. Other than that, man, yeah, we don't really have any plans. I do have a base design in mind because I was looking for a nice little new solo base to use. I came across one called the dugout. Let you guys know if it's uh, worth it. Why is this happening? My controller has been doing that a lot and I don't like it. I feel like it's gonna happen in a in a fight later on down the road. My controller is just gonna completely disconnect, and that won't be fun. So last video didn't get the most love on my channel, view wise, but comment wise, it seemed like you guys were loving it. Like I got a lot of really good comments and a lot of likes on the video, more than I pretty much ever get. So I appreciate that. I know you guys definitely enjoyed that style, which I'm happy to see because I did take a lot of extra time on it. I do want to say that I don't think I'll be able to keep up that type of editing every video. Let's go, a nice little ice pick. But yeah, I don't think I can do that like every video, first of all, because it took, you know, a lot of time and I like to get videos out hopefully in like seven to 10 days. I like to try to be consistent with that, but um, the second reason is because you actually can't get all of the map presets in the community server. So that's how I was able to do the cinematics. I had to recreate all the bases and stuff in my own community server, which had the same exact map. So it made it a lot easier. I can still do it to some extent, but with it not being the same map, it'll kind of look a little bit choppy and stuff. But yeah, man, I do, I do appreciate all the love on that one. I'm definitely going to try to do it, though, like, a good amount. I'm going to try to keep spicing it up with those type of movie, movie-like ones, especially when I get good content. Definitely makes it a lot easier to want to do it when you have good content to do it off of. Just keep getting good content, and everything else will fall into line. need to get to outpost i do kind of want to try to find a diesel really quick actually so i can use the pump jack maybe Ooh. i didn't know there's two random diesel fuels right there all right i'm pretty loaded Now all we need to do is get some wood, but I also kind of might just might just throw some stashes down real quick. Dang it, there's a big base here already. And they got a hemp farm. Why do I kind of want to raid the hemp farm? Oh shit. Oh shit. What are they building over there? There's like five metals. Are they better raid this shit? Oh, they're definitely better raid this shit. Wait, that's kind of money. Because I want to post up right here. <laughs> I'm confused if it's an online though. They're placing walls and shit like it's an online. Yeah, they're raiding. 
Please tell me it's an online, bro. Oh my god, that'd be so clutch. Okay, I'm gonna get like a quick, I don't even know, one by one down real quick. I can't believe they're raiding this big base right this moment. That is wild. Yeah, it doesn't sound like an online at the moment. Kinda sounds like an offline. What are we doing? Oh my god! Oh my god, the double snipe. The double combo, combo snipe. For the Tommy. That's incredible. That's actually incredible stuff. No way. Go, baby. Now we can go over to the raid and see what's up. Hey, I don't think there's any way I make a play here. There's like way too many of them, and it's not even an online. I might be able to get some scraps though. I guess there's not much I can do besides just let them finish that raid. So I'm gonna just gonna try to get wood and stone and focus on getting a real base down. And then maybe when they're done, I can go in looking for scraps. Like right here is a pretty good spot. There we go. New starter down. Alright. Let's go. It's a big run. So I need cloth. I don't, like, I don't even have enough to place a bag in my bed. So I think I'm going to have to do some running around. Hit a road somewhere and try to recycle it outpost. By the time I got the satellite, I was already pretty loaded. Pull the launcher. That's interesting. I look like a walking lick right now. Like you see me walking down the streets and you, you start licking your chops. I mean, I'm honestly still very close to base. I might just recycle for some cloth really quick right here and then just head back. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. With those first two runs alone, I was able to get a tier two down, but I still needed some more scrap and to research stems and ammo, so I started to run monuments. All right, boys, I'm gonna head over to Satellite, get that blue card, head over to Water Treatment, get that red card, and come back home, hopefully without dying that's the one good thing about this spot is like it does have some pretty solid monuments around it like at the very least i can get the blue card and the red card there's smoil like very close by bandits even pretty close especially because water treatment has that pump jack and you can just keep getting diesel fuel and like in the early mornings i can just run that pump jack to get all the low grade that i need i think that's the move for sure Dude, 
dude living near water treatment and just popping in here and collecting the diesel fuel every once in a while is like could actually be pretty OP it actually has a lot of spawns I don't really know them all by heart but I've seen it in a few different spots already Searched. We can low key go hit Smoil. And then if we if we get away with that, should be chilling. Alright, let's do it, boys. Oh, wait. Should make like one or two more stems. And I don't know, low grade. <laughs> go depot real quick before calling the heavies because I don't know if my Tommy's gonna last and plus I got a good amount of comps and such on me counters I, de I definitely thought we would get some oh my two MPs yeah we'll take that all day let's go so we'll run very successful multiple extra guns good whoa that's a rocket is that my old base dude that might be my old base which is scary because this might be next i'm pretty sure it was my old base Makes me want to farm and upgrade. Expanding. I'm gonna try to figure that out. Somebody's farming up here. Couldn't tell what they had, but kind of looked like they dropped that that node pretty quickly. Kind of feel like this dude's loaded in here, bro. I kind of feel like a scum, but I did just see him, and then he boxed himself in, I think. 
And I think he was using a Jackie on the low key. Unfortunate for Brody. Still kind of worth it for the stone, though. Alright. Now we should have enough for the second floor, I believe. done my goal was to get the base down fairly quick especially after seeing how fast my first base got blown into so i went back out to farm Good amount of scrap. I'll take that. That's not ideal. He died too. Uh, I guess I'll take a row of stone and 184 scrap. It's not terrible. Mm, never mind, I guess I'm dead. Dying as a solo is inevitable, so during this wipe, I tried to keep going back out no matter what to make up for dying rather than getting discouraged. No, dude. was he doing? Holy shit, he was loaded. I need to make it back with this really badly. Home sweet home, baby. Let's go. Nice comps and scrap. 500. I guess I'm gonna go that way again with the custom really quick. Maybe try to pick up whatever I missed or kill more people if they're there.
Oh, I just saw the dude get down. <laughs> Died to the street scientist. Let's see if he's loaded. Minimal stuff. Jesus, these guys are recycling for a while. Shit. Shit. I'm dead. Yep, I'm toast. Holy bodies. I don't know what to do, bro. If I challenge, I'm dead. But if I don't challenge, I'm also dead. Yo, well you can't make it up. Bro. Like I said, even after dying in a horrible way, I went right back out and was eventually rewarded for it. Okay, somebody's doing blue. So juiced. Wow, my timing was on point back to back, bro. That never happens. I can't believe 500 scrap back to back. Not really back to back, I guess I died in the middle, but pretty much back to back. And cloth too, which I needed again. Or a thousand four hundred scrap. That's insane. Especially with all these comps too. Hundred and 
52 scrap. Yo, water treatment is just racking up. I'm just gonna keep running into water treatment until it does me wrong. This team getting raided early in the day was actually so clutch for me though, because running down this route would have been so like dangerous if they were on, but now it's just like a free run home pretty much every time. Take my leisurely stroll next to the river right back to my base with more scrap. Absolutely, more scrap and more comps acquired. Just like that. That. like the MP just killed the custom. I'm confused, did he just see me or did he just... For those stray shots. That's my cue. Yeah, that is definitely my cue. Nope. I'm not risking that. Oh. Fuck me. Fuck me. How? What? It honestly hurt to lose that inventory in that fashion, but I went back to expanding for now until I saw a new team getting a base down right next to mine. No. I could tell these guys were going to be an issue, but for now, all I could do was continue expanding until Crate came out at Power Plant. I head towards Power Plant.
bro. Not only was it late at night, but as a solo, I could only deal with so many unfortunate deaths in one day. So this is the one that pushed me to hop off for the night, and that would prove to be my biggest mistake of day one. Uh, of course, we're offlining solos at like 4 a.m. Yeah, I don't really know what to do. I mean, I guess I take it back over. Try to keep it going, I guess. You just start running monuments ASAP. I was AFK last night too, and I woke up as soon as they got into core. I didn't even have the willpower to actually like get up and record after that. I just went back to sleep because I knew it was done up. Another bad thing is I don't even really know who did it. Yeah, I actually have no clue who did it, but if I had to guess, it's probably the people who live right next to me now. My morning consisted of running monuments and patching my base back up, and in the process of doing that, I noticed that I could figure out who raided me when I saw a double door with a code lock on it, and after dying to it, I realized that it was in fact the kids who moved in right next to me. The problem now was figuring out how exactly to get revenge. Wired. We're getting back up there. Needed that. No way. Stealing my fucking horse. Let's go. Beds are huge. I needed a bed. Alright. Already have over 2,000 scrap. Damn. I'm cooking. I just heard a satchel. I think. Wait, there's like a prim kit right here, though. Oh. Charcoal. Jackie, I will take. I do want to get to that satchel raid, but. Something is here. Okay. Oh, there's another one, of course. Yes. Tommy Hollow? Sure. I'll take that.
Should've took a horse. I'm in need. I was already making good progress, so dying didn't stress me out, and after going back out, I would easily make up for it anyway. Might be stashing in that corner. Oh my gosh. Let's go, man. Another 600 scrap. Let's go. I need that farm. I feel like he lives around here, so I gotta be careful. I made it back with my enemy's farm run, and then I figured going for Smoil could be the best option to keep my snowball going. There is a swimmer. You just got a mid. Let's go. Shit, rib coming. Oh, fuck.
Holy. Holy schmokies. Scared. I feel like these kids are going to come back. And it might not be easy. Ooh. I did not see that scientist. That is big. Oh, another boat. Fuck. <sighs> Fuck, there's two of them. No way you picked this fucking boy. No. Of course it's not a full kill. That's actually another level of ridiculous, bro. Not gonna lie, this one hurt. Mostly because it would have been such a cool play to pull off. But yet again, going out after an unlucky death, I would find a way to get my hopes back up. to the farmer. I think he lives in this base. I'm assuming he's gonna keep farming that way, so I'm gonna try to kind of go around and cut him off. God. I think that's the same farmer I killed earlier. I'm pretty positive it is actually to be exact. Mm -hmm. He's on the roof. Might have just turned and saw me go in here at the very last second. After killing their farmer two times in a row, I knew that they were slowly becoming displeased with me. But within minutes, they would have their own problems they had to deal with. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's a raid. The neighbors are getting hounded. <laughs> I hope they're online. Oh 
Oh, they're finally on. Oh, it's an online, boys. Seeing these guys lose everything honestly would have made my day, but for some reason, I was itching to make a play, so I couldn't let the opportunity pass me up. My god, just killed like all of them. Wanted to get away with that so bad. We're just helping the defenders. I should have let them get raided. Why did I just save the raid? Uh, I should have let the fucking offliners get raided, bro. Yeah, honestly, killing the raiders was a horrible decision in hindsight, because the enemies were easily able to clean up the rest and seal their base. And not only that, but as I started upgrading, they started running over. Are they about to raid me? One dead. I knew they were gonna do that. It was literally just upgrading. They're just going straight into the fucking. Yeah, this is bad. I might be fucked. I think I am fucked. Fuck, I like have to go into the fucking this shit. Yeah, I'm fucked. That's GG. Back quickly, damn. That's the end of me. That was fun while it lasted, right? Fuck these kids. Deep spawn my soul for you. Hope you guys can forgive this.